Hi guys. <laughs> Um, so I'm Savannah, and as you know, um, Phil's already mentioned that I'm Phil and Rosita's granddaughter. And obviously, as they've had their business for 28 years, I actually um, grew up with them through the first maybe 10 years of my life. So I've actually been using the products since I was a baby because they used to use them on me. My parents have always used them and I've just grown up with it. So I just love our products. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of our skincare products, the kind of the ones that I use on a daily basis, and then also just a couple of our um, personal care products as well. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is the aloe vera jelly. So this is as close as you can get to the inner um, inner leaf gel that I'm sure you've all seen what it looks like when you cut open an aloe leaf. Um, so this is as close as you can get to that in terms of a topical product. So this is amazing. And I'm sure you've already heard as well how good um, aloe vera is for burns. So something like this is really good for if you have any burns, it can be used as an after sun for sunburn. But of course, um, normal burns from, you know, from cooking or anything, it's really good for as well. If you apply this, um, it soothes it straight away and also helps with the healing process as well. I actually use this as part of my skincare routine as well. So whenever um, I, I have any spots or on areas that I'm prone to getting spots, I always use this in the mornings and also in the evenings before I go to bed as well. And I put it, if I have a spot somewhere, I'll put the tiniest bit on the area that I've got a spot. Or also me personally, I'm prone to getting spots around my nose area and on my chin. So I always pop some there as well, whether I have a spot or not, just to kind of help that area. And I find that that really works for me. I find it clears it up really quite quickly in, com com in comparison to other products that I've used in the past. So this is like an, an amazing product for so many different reasons. Um, I then also use this moisturizing lotion. So an aloe moisturising lotion that also contains collagen and elastin as well. So this is really good for the skin um, because of the ingredients. It's also really smooth and silky. And I personally love to use this one in the morning, um, whether I'm going with no makeup, which I'm doing a lot at the moment because we're actually having some sunshine in the UK at the moment, which is really nice. But I've also found that this is a great base for makeup as well. So I always opt for this moisturiser before applying my makeup because it just um, just the makeup sits really nicely on top of this cream because it's so thick and velvety. We've then also got another cream, which is called the Aloe Propolis Cream. So this is quite similar. However, um, it has added propolis in it. I'm not sure if you've heard of propolis before, but propolis is actually a bee product and it's what prod, uh, it's what the bees use to line their, um, I've, I've lost the word, what's it called? Beehive. Their beehive. It's what they use to line their beehives um, to protect to protect everything. And this is what we then use in this cream as well. So this specific cream is really good for um, dry skin types and also just any kind of dry skin kind of problems that anybody has. This is usually the one that we would recommend because it helps to clear it up and also soothe any itchiness or um, soreness that they might be having. This is really good, especially for that. So both of these moisturizers are amazing and they can both be used for any skin type. However, we do tend to um, recommend this one more so for people who have dry um, skin issues. And like Phil said, we always recommend drinking the aloe as well. So this would work from topically on top of the skin and then the aloe drink will work from the inside out. Um, so they work really well hand in hand together. 